today we're going to be extracting DNA from strawberries. Uh, strawberries are a really great uh, example for DNA extraction because strawberries are actually octoploids, which means they have eight copies of each of their chromosomes. And that way we can use simple techniques like we will show you today to extract DNA and see it in person. Hi everyone, my name is Jet. So this is going to be the first step of the strawberry extraction. So first is take a half cup of water, add it to the whatever glass you're going to use. Next, add one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. This is used for um, breaking down of the cell membranes of the strawberry to try to get that DNA out. And then at the end, we're going to add one half a teaspoon of salt. What the salt does is it gets rid of those proteins that are attached to the DNA, to the DNA so we get a nice purified DNA in our extraction. Next step. Now we're going to add the strawberries to this bag and start mushing. Mushing the strawberries is going to help increase the surface area for when we use the extraction liquid to remove the DNA. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of our extraction liquid into this bag. in here such as strawberry seeds and other bits that we don't want so we're going to run it through this strainer to get rid of some of the waste and then the DNA and other stuff that we want will be in the bottom here. So first let's pour into the strainer. I moved my strawberry solution from the larger container to the smaller one so it's easier to see. So right now I'm going to add the isopropyl alcohol and what this will do is we'll take the DNA and it'll precipitate out of the solution. So basically just taking the dissolved DNA and then uh, making it so we can pull it out and have a close look at it. So now that we've added the isopropyl alcohol, you can start to see that the DNA is starting to form in this top layer. The white stuff on the surface is the actual DNA of the strawberry. And when I pull up with my toothpick, the stuff that comes with it is the DNA. Now this is really cool because DNA can be found in all living things and it's what makes every person or every species unique. So as you can see, we've actually been able to extract quite a lot of DNA from these strawberries. This actually concludes our demonstration for today, and I hope you had a fun time watching. See you next time!